Hi folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel you can find videos about Jerusalem and Israel. Hopefully at least a few more are on the way. As some longtime subscribers might know I'm originally from Ireland although I moved to live in Israel in 2015. I'm probably one of pretty few people in history who have made the transition from living in Cork to living in Jerusalem. I still have some friends there in Ireland and people are often interested in knowing little details about Israel, especially as it relates to their own countries. I've previously done videos about the international relationship between Israel and Ireland on the diplomatic front, which can perhaps best be described as more rocky than a Hollywood romance. I've also spoken about my experience and uh, lifelong and ongoing identity crisis as an Irish born Jew. If you're interested in those, I will leave links to those videos in the description. But today, let's just stick to some facts. TheTrueSize.com is an intriguing website, which lets you see the size of one country in respect to another. If you agree that this is one of the best but most random ideas for a website ever, please consider liking this video. To state the obvious, the maps are to scale. So here's what it would look like if we plucked Israel out of the Middle East and re-established it as a random island uh, next to Ireland in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. By doing so, we would dramatically cut down on the flying time between Dublin and Tel Aviv, which is about five hours on the new flights between the two cities. And pretty much everyone in Israel would be complaining incessantly about the permanently grey skies. On the plus side, there would be better pubs and uh, like the Irish, we could diffuse awkward conversations by bantering endlessly about the weather forecast. If Ireland were somehow lifted and transplanted into the Middle East, there would be several million Irish people sporting very bad sunburns and thronging beaches along the coastline. This is also what it would look like to scale if that actually happened. As the maps have demonstrated, Ireland is actually several times larger than Israel. And yes, that's even if we're just talking about the territory of the Republic of Ireland and not that of the whole island. To be precise, the Republic of Ireland has 70,273 square kilometers within its borders, which is about five sixths of the territory of the whole island. Despite the fact that it's very frequently in the news, Israel is actually really small. It only has a total territory size of 22,145 square kilometers. If you're also terrible at maths, we have the fabulous invention of the calculator to provide the arithmetic here. The Republic of Ireland is 3.17 times the size of the state of Israel. When we look at population, however, we get a surprising picture. According to 2022 figures, the Republic of Ireland had 5.1 million inhabitants. Israel, however, is almost at the 10 million mark. In May of 2022, the state had just over 9.5 million residents. Putting these facts together, we can see that the Republic of Ireland is three times bigger than Israel in size, but only has about half the inhabitants. This means, of course, that Israel has a significantly higher population density. Israel has about 400 residents squished into every square kilometer of its territory on average. Ireland's population density, however, is way, way smaller. On average, Ireland has about 70 people living in each square kilometers, so Israel is more than four times as densely populated. Israel also has a lot more cities in it than Ireland. There are actually 16 cities in Israel with 100,000 people or more besides the famous ones which are really Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Which when you think about it is an awful lot for such a tiny country. Although I guess all those people have to uh, yeah, fit somewhere. The Republic of Ireland only has uh, Cork and Dublin in that size category. Come to think about it, I could probably go on comparing Israel and Ireland all day. The famous Irish culinary staple known as the 3-in-1 is sadly not available in Israel and nobody has heard of the Morbegs here. And while 2B60 is a massively underrated alcoholic beverage produced in Israel, it unfortunately doesn't have a stockist in Ireland. Yes. However, in the interest of keeping to internet attention spans, mine's about five minutes, I think, I'll stop here and keep those delightful stat trolls for another video. Do you have an idea for an interesting video about Israel that you think I should make? Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section or reach out to me by email. And as ever, thank you for watching.